Hi folks, this is Sumit and welcome to ACAD Guilds project session number three. In our last session, we saw the post analysis step, we saw the project flow, and then we ended our session by creating the data for our analysis. In today's session, we will understand how to create the lookup table and how to populate the lookup table. And then we will perform our pre-processing steps on the raw data. So let's begin. I hope you guys remember in our last session, we completed till generate mobile data.py file. I mean, we executed this file and created the data for us. Now, moving ahead. So the next command that we have to follow is start hyphen demons.sh. So this is a shell script. So from the name, I think it is quite clear that, uh, you know, this command will start the Hadoop demons. So let's see what exactly is the content of this shell script. Okay. So you see start hyphen all.sh, start hbase.sh and then history server. So apart from uh, this Hadoop commands, there are few things that you need to see. Okay. Look at this guys. Current underscore bash dot txt. Okay. So if this file is present at this particular location that is under project, there will be logs directly under logs current hyphen batch dot txt. If it is present, it will print batch file form. If not, it will create a file named current hyphen batch dot txt. And then in that content, one will be inserted. Okay. After that, we are giving proper permission to this file and then we are creating a batch ID. I will, I'll come to this batch ID. Why exactly we are doing this. So batch ID is taken from the content, which is present under current hyphen batch dot txt. So let's, let's go to this log directory and see whether current hyphen batch dot txt file is present or not. So I have already connected to my ACAD guild VM using putty. So we need to go to logs under logs. See, as of now, there is no file name current hyphen bash dot txt. So now we will be running the shell script. Okay. So let's copy this. Execute. So as my Hadoop demons are already running, so it will give stop it first. You see, name node is running, stop it first, then data node. So I have already started my Hadoop demons. Okay. Now, as the uh, script has uh, successfully uh, uh, executed, let's go back to same log directory and check the content. You see, guys, a file named current hyphen batch dot txt got created. And then one more file log hyphen batch underscore one got created. You see, this also created a log file under this name log hyphen batch and then the batch ID. Batch ID is taken from current hyphen batch dot txt. Let's see what is under current batch dot txt. We'll do a cat and then one okay so one is the content present under this file okay guys now why exactly this batch id is important so in production what happens uh, you know your job will run after certain interval let's say after a day or after a week or after a month you will have new data and then you will have to run the same job so different to differentiate okay which job is the new one what how many jobs previously have been executed Okay, so we are creating a batch ID. So for every new job, a new batch ID will get created. Okay. So that is the purpose of creating batch ID for one complete job from pre processing till your post analysis or whatsoever it is, there will be single batch ID. So in short, single batch ID for single job. I hope this is clear. So moving ahead, we will be looking at this script now this is the script in which we will see how the lookup table is created in hbase and then how the data is getting populated in it so i have already opened this file populate lookup dot sh let's see guys see again we have taken a batch id from the same text file 
and then log file will get entered under that particular batch ID. Look at this line. Creating lookup tables. So I think, uh, I mean, I'm sure I discussed how many lookup tables are there. When we started our session, there we discussed what are the lookup tables, why it is important, where it will be used. So this script file is creating three lookup tables named station geo map, subscribed users and some artist map. Okay. Once this lookup file is lookup, sorry, lookup table is created, we will be populating the lookup table with appropriate data. So we have some data station hyphen geo cd dot txt it is present under lookup file. So the content of this text file will get loaded into station geo map. Okay, and this will have station ID and geo cd. Two different fields will be there. Okay. Similarly, song artist dot txt content of this file will be loaded into song artist map. Then content of user subscription dot txt will get loaded into subscribed users. After the loading of the file, a hive script will run named user hyphen artist dot hql so this is a simple dot hql file which will check okay whether in hive cell my project name uh, my sorry my database name project exists or not then we will use the same database under that we will create one user artist dot sorry we will create one uh, table name called user underscore artist under this there are two fields user id and artist array this table is getting populated from your file which is present in lookup file subdirectory named user artist.txt so whatever the content of user artist.txt is there it will get loaded into this hive table okay guys so let's execute and see one by one what exactly will happen okay so this file execution of this file will take some time okay it will take some time so let's start you see guys the first line created station geo map so our first lookup table is already created now first lookup table let's see here yep station geo map it is already created next table will be subscribed users and then song artist map you see subscribed user also got created next is song artist map so once this table creation is over the population of lookup table will start after population of lookup table this hive script will run okay and i have already explained you what this hive script will do you see song artist map is also created Now you see the put command is running. Okay, put station geo map. Whatever the content is there in that particular file, it will get stored in this lookup table. So guys, you see this command is getting executed. This one. Under, from this particular file, the data is getting loaded in this particular lookup table. Let's see how the file looks like. Station geo cd.txt present under lookup files okay so lookup files okay this is the lookup file directory and station geo cd.txt so see there are two different fields one is station id and then the geo location a a u a p whatever it is so th this data is already there and this will get loaded into our lookup table okay friends So we have to wait for some time uh, until and unless this proceeds. Okay, I'll be unable to uh, explain you the further steps. So let's wait for some time. And then we, once it is done, again, we will proceed. All right. Okay. So our uh, populate hyphen lookup dot sh script file has successfully executed. And uh, hopefully the hive table named user hyphen artist would have been created. So let's go and check whether the hive table got created or not okay so we'll start the hive shell from here 
will type the command. Okay, sorry, let it start first. Okay, now our high shell is up and running. So we'll fire the command show databases to check what are the databases available. You see guys, <coughs> database name project have been created. So use project and now show tables. So user artist table is available inside this database. Okay, let's see what is the data and how uh, you know it looks like select star from user artist okay guys here is the data you see there were there were two different columns one was user id and the other one other one was an array artist array okay now when we see our table see this is the user id and this is the array of artist ids okay so this is successfully created great we'll move on so uh, this lookup table is also created and then hive script is also successfully executed we will go back to read me file and go ahead with the next step so next step is data formatting dot sh okay let's see what exactly it is all right so again the same batch id and log id log id uh, log file concepts then we will be creating some of the directories in hdfs okay first of all you know if any directory named web formatted web and mob, mob is available and at this particular location in hadoop we will be removing it so these three command will be removing the directories I, I hope you guys you know you are uh, aware as you are already uh, you know how do uh, expert you would be knowing what these commands are so the next set of commands will be creating the directory named web and mobile okay under this particular location after that from our local file system so the data that we generated okay using these two commands that is generate mobile data and then generate web data so using these two commands you uh, know we, we generated some of the data for our analysis so what we will be doing we are putting the same data into hdfs okay after that there is a pig script that will run okay data formatting dot pig let's see what it does okay so this is data formatting dot pig so before i explain you this let me again open the requirement document so it will be easy for you to connect the dots why exactly that big script in and what exactly it is doing okay so in the initial validation and data ingestion phase there were certain points which we had to take care of the point number four you see all the timestamp field is in this format all the timestamp fields coming from mobile is in this format. Finally, all the timestamp will be in Unix timestamp format. Okay. So to perform this particular validation, we are doing the pig script. Okay. Let's see the pig script. So initially we are registering the piggybank.jar file and then from it, as the data is in XML format, we will be using the XPath. Okay. Uh, concept of XPath using piggy bank jar we are loading the data from mobile you see the data that were loaded in the web which was in xml format we are loading that into the pig relation a as record and then we are doing some kind of trimming okay are removing the uh, spaces from starting and at the end of the records okay whatever song id artist id and these three lines you see guys we are converting into two Unix time. Okay. The timestamp start TS and end TS. We are converting all the three into Unix time format. So this is what we are doing and removing some of the spaces. After this, we are storing our, you know, uh, validated data that is into the relation B. We are storing the relation B into formatted web. Okay. This is the path in Hadoop where we are storing this particular data okay so once the pig script runs fine 
then there is a hive script that will run okay formatted hive load dot hql okay let's see what this does okay so it is also using the same database that we created project database after that we are creating formatted input table under that there are the various fields that was in our data set user id song id so so and so to dislike okay and we are partitioning this table based on batch id i have already explained you the concept of batch id what it is and why it is important okay then the data which is there in formatted web the pre-processed data from pig that was loaded into formatted web we are loading that into our hive table okay also from mobile we are loading the data okay great so let's move ahead so i think this is the end of this data formatting dot sh step okay next will be the enrichment process okay so we have completed our pre-processing next will be the enrichment process wherein we will uh, you know uh, use the concept of lookup tables with hype and all after enrichment we will be performing the analysis okay so for today's session this is it guys let's meet in the next session till then thank you